Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to generate alert report in IntelliJ IDEA. This is like a lot of candidate requested to me, sir. Can you please create a video on this? On this. So that is why basically I'm creating, guys. So so this is mean by so how to generate alert report in a IntelliJ IDEA. That basically we are going to learn today. So what are the steps? So basically we have I I I wrote down those steps uh, in this PDF in this PPT. And you can follow this PPT and you can you can go through the all PPTs and based on that just just execute the steps. Okay, so so first of all, just uh, I would like to tell you about the Alloy report. So Alloy report is nothing but guys, this is report generating tool. Basically, we have where you can able to see how many test cases are passed, fail, how many test cases are skipped. So everything basically you can able to find out. This is one of the most famous and like like many people nowadays preferring to use this tool because the UI is very very attractive. Okay, so let's let's go through the uh, official website of the Alloy. So here you can see, guys. I'm just simply uh, searching over here Alloy report, and you can see this is an official website of the Alloy report, and you can able to find out the terms over here. Okay, this is an official website. Basically, we have guys. Now, what we have to do? What are the steps? Basically, we need to follow. Just try to understand. So, what I'm trying to do, guys. So, steps you have to follow. First of all, you must need to add the dependency. Now, I'm generating the Alloy report. With the help of the test engine, so test engine framework basically we are we are going to use. So for that guys, what we have to do, we need to search the dependency which is named as a Alloy test engine dependency. This Maven dependency you have to search. So you can see guys, uh, what you have to do is simple. You need to go to the Maven repository over here, and once you go to the Maven repository, you can able to search over here. Uh, what guys, your Alloy Alloy test engine. This this thing basically you have to search. Once you search, this, you can simply see the first first thing. This Alloy test engine. You just need to go inside of this test engine, and you just need to copy like download the thing. Now I'm just using. I'm not preferring the latest version because probably we can able to face some issues. So I'm just going to use the stable versions. Okay. So you can use the one of the most stable version is 2.17.3. So I'm just going over here and I'm just copying this dependency. Once I copy this dependency, I just need to open my IntelliJ IDEA. And in a pom dot xml file, I'm just going to enter that uh, dependency. Once I'm entering this dependency, you can see, guys. I just need to download this dependency. So uh, simple. I'm just going to upload this Maven, uh, like reload this project. And when this is done, you can see my uh, dependency is going to download successfully over here. Now, once I'm done with this adding the dependency, what are the next steps we have to follow, guys? We just need to uh, we just need to follow the what we have to do. We just need to download the Maven and Alloy binaries, and we have to set up the environment path in our system. So for that, what we have to do, guys, we simply need to go to this website. Uh, like this is a Maven doc website. Basically, we have you just need to go to this website, and once you go to this website, you can able to see these are the binary files we have. Now, once I'm getting this binary file, you can see this binary zip rq. This file I'm going to download. Once I'm downloading this file, you can see, guys, this file is going to download over here. And once I'm done with this thing, guys, you can see my file is successfully downloaded. Now, what we have to do, we simple needs to extract this file. So you can see, guys, I'm just simply extract this file over here, extract all, extract all, and you can see my file is successfully extracting over here. Once I'm done with this thing, guys, what we have to do, you can see, what we have to do, we have to copy the bin path over here. So simply, I need to go to this bin path, and I just need to copy this part, and I need to set my environment variable. So you can see, guys, what we have to do. Uh, I'm just searching the edit environment variable over here, and you can able to see, guys, here in the path variable, I just need to add. But unfortunately, like I haven't opened the thing here. So what I'm doing? Uh, let me go to the properties, and here I'm just searching environment variable. And you can see, guys, my environment variable is going to open over here, and now I can, I should able to edit. You can see, guys, I should able to edit over here. When this is done, I just need to click on this edit button, and I need to add the path over here. So how to add the path? Simple. I need to click on the uh, new button, and I'm just going to add the path over here. You can see, guys, this is a path basically added. Okay. Once I'm done with this thing, simple. I need to click on OK button, and like my path is already like my path is going to set over here. I already set this part. You can see, guys. I already set this part, so I'm not going to set this part again, basically. Okay. So this is how basically we have to set the thing. Once I'm done with this thing, guys, what we have to do? Uh, what we have to do, guys? Once I'm done with the uh, like path setting, 
then we have to follow the next steps what next steps we have to follow we need to download the another allure thing uh, in our operating system like allure thing basically we have to download so for that what we have to do we need to visit to this website this allure uh, reporting official websites we have to visit once we open this website you can see guys we have a thing installing command line so uh, maven uh, sorry allure command line basically we have to download so simple we have to click over here which is named as a installing a command line once i'm uh, once we click over here you can see guys we need to scroll down over here okay once we click over here we need to what guys we need to scroll down over here and what we have to do we just need to go to this maven center what we have to do guys we just need to go to this maven center and once we go to the maven center you can see this is the latest version we have you just need to click over here and you can see the lot of files basically open up over here once we can able to see over here we have to download the zip file for in windows so this file we have to download so what i'm trying to do simple i'm going to click on this file and you can see guys my file is successfully downloading over here now once my file is successfully downloading over here what i'm trying to do now i just need to extract that file here you can see guys i just need to right click over here and i'm going to extract this file once i'm extracting this file you can see my file is successfully going like it is it is down uh, extracting over here now this file is already exist on my machine so i'm just simply replacing those terms and you can see guys now i like uh, successfully extracted this file over here so what we have to do again i need to go inside okay and again i need to go to the bin and i just need to again copy this part once i copy this part again i need to open the uh, like environment variable thing again i need to go to the path over here and i, I need to click on this edit option once i click on the edit option again i have to click on the new button because this variable i have to add so new button and you can see guys simple i just need to add this variable over here like this okay and you have to click on what guys you have to click on the okay button so this is how basically this is how basically you can able to add a maven command line guys okay you can see this is how basically you have to maven command line just hitting the environment variable path uh, like for an apache maven 3.9.2 and allover command line 2.10.0 so this is a path basically we set up and i just need to click on okay and once this is done what we have to do guys so this is how the basic setup we can able to do now how basically we can able to check like whether our setup is properly working or not so for that i just need to open the command prompt and i just need to what we have to do guys allure hyphen hyphen version command we have to do and once i am doing this thing you can see guys i can able to see now my allure is successfully uh, like install over here successfully set up the path is successfully set over here if i'm going to delete this path guys suppose if i'm going to delete this path uh, this this environment variable path if i'm going to delete then like whatever path basically we set in a path uh, variable and if we are going to delete that part then probably you you cannot able to fetch the uh, version basically so this is how basically we have to do and once this is done now what we have to do guys we just need to create the test case so suppose i'm just simple creating the class over here java class i'm going to create over here and which is name as allure uh, report example this is simple class i'm just creating over here okay once i'm creating this thing now i'm just ready made like i'm just copying this code over here and i'm just pasting i'm just creating the test case over here at the rate test public public void test case 1 okay this is a test case one basically i created and i simply paste the thing over here i'm just opening the url over here and once i'm opening this url i just apply the assertion over here assert uh dot assert equals and suppose uh, i'm just using driver sorry my bad i just have to use a driver dot get title i'm going to use i'm just fetching the title over here comma i'm just providing the title which is name as a google okay and here i'm just writing down a uh, title title should be match okay when this is then i'm just closing this driver that's it guys okay driver dot close and another so this this test case is going to pass to over here and what i'm trying to do same code i am going to use same url i'm going to use over here and what i'm trying to do uh, forcefully i'm doing the i'm i'm failing this test case so how i'm doing i'm i'm failing this test case like i'm just expecting the title over here facebook which is wrong okay this is how the one test case basically i'm just passing over here and one test case basically i'm failing over here 
so once we are done with this thing guys what we have to do now what we have to do let me quickly run this test case so how to run basically i'm just going to add this class here in the test ng folder so basic dot alver report example this class i'm going to add and once this is done if i'm going to run this test case you can see guys what happened over here going to run you can see my first test case is executing over here my google is opening my test case is successfully passed over here and this second test case should be fail over here which is like as expected basically we have so you can see my first test case is passed and first test case is failed and you can see guys what you notice our allure resort folder is generating over here you can see guys here our allure report folder is generating and some data also getting so what we have to do simple i just need to copy this path so what I'm going to do guys, I'm just copying this path of this folder and once I'm copying this path, I'm going to open this CMD command and here I'm just need to open, write down the one command allure serve this command I have to write down and that path we have to provide and if I'm pressing enter button, you can see guys what will happen. My report is generating over here. You can see my allure report is generating and we will get a data like two test cases are executed. One test case is passed and second test case is failed. You can see guys. This is a complete information basically you will get. So this is how basically we can able to generate our allure report guys. That's it for today. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.